This is podcast number 10, which deals with stability of buoyant objects and links in with podcast number 9 on buoyancy. Okay, so we all have some sense of what is stable and what isn't. As you can see here on the left, the large barge looking ship there, you'd consider it to be relatively stable. It has a large wide end and isn't that tall. So there's something to do with the aspect ratio perhaps that deals with the stability of an object. On the right hand side, you can see another trawler, I guess, that is at an angle. It's quite a tall, it doesn't have such a wide base and you'd probably consider that to be unstable. What we're going to do in this podcast is try to put in some sums. We're trying to define what is stability, what is instability. So we're going to look at diagrams like these and discover whether they're stable or not. Before we can do that, we need to define some terminolo terminology. We start with the center buoyancy, which is the point through which the buoyant force acts. So you can take this as a submerged object and it'll be the center of gravity of the submerged object. And it's called the center of buoyancy. The center of gravity of the whole object is the second point we need to know. We're going to define stable equilibrium, neutral equilibrium, and unstable equilibrium. Then we're going to move on to what is a metacenter and what is the metacentric height, and what do the two of them have to do with stability. So let's consider this system. It's a hot air balloon. You can see that the center of buoyancy is the center of the circle, where uh, you'd expect the hotter gases to give you their buoyancy forces. Its weight will be biased towards the bottom and its center of gravity is therefore towards the bottom. If we were to turn this to an angle, so an arbitrary angle like this, we would see that the center of buoyancy would stay pretty much in the same spot and the center of gravity would be displaced away. <clears throat> this leads to a moment because there is a distance between the two forces but it's a restoring moment because the gravity and the buoyancy are acting to, in a direction that would restore the original position of the hot air balloon. So the restoring moment is equal to W times X. And this happens for as long as the center of gravity is below the center of buoyancy. Neutral equilibrium occurs when the center of buoyancy is at the same place as the center of gravity. So if an object is wholly submerged in a fluid, then the center of buoyancy and center of gravity will be in the same position. <coughs> By rotating this to an arbitrary angle, we can see that the buoyancy and weight forces still act at the same central location. Therefore, there is no restoring moment, it just stays where it is. This happens, neutral equilibrium happens, when B is at the same point as G. <coughs> Unstable equilibrium is a third um, type where you have the center of buoyancy below the center of gravity. If we turn uh, in this situation, it's perfectly stable. However, if you were to turn it by even the smallest of angles, this would create a moment <coughs> that would turn it further away from what its original position. This is a disturbing moment and it's, termed, and it's calculated by multiplying W times the distance between the two X. And this happens when the center of gravity is above the center of buoyancy B. A metacentric height. So, by definition, the metacentric height is the point, <coughs> or the metacenter is the point where the line of action of the upthrust intersects the original vertical line through the center of buoyancy and the center of gravity. Let's look at that in diagrammatically. The writing or overlying moment is equal to W times GM, the vector distance between the center of gravity and the uh, metacentric height, multiplied by sine of the angle theta, and if, uh, where GM is the metacentric height. And if theta was small, W would equal uh, the, this would equal W times GM times theta. So looking at it diagrammatically, we can see, in this case, we have quite a wide uh, buoyant object, <coughs> which is center of buoyancy below the center of gravity. If it tilts to an arbitrary angle, the metacentric height occurs quite high up, just here. And because M is above G, we can consider this to be stable. Again, we can see that there is a writing or restoring moment 
created by the buoyancy and weight forces. This here is the vector gm, which is the metacentric height, and m is the point called the metacenter. Another example would be for this taller object. So this is like the trawler in the original diagram, where the weight <coughs> force is acting down is quite central and the buoyancy force is quite low. By turning this through a, an arbitrary angle, we can find that <coughs> the metacenter is below the center of gravity and therefore it is inherently unstable. That completes podcast number 10, which deals with the stability of buoyant objects.